Hi, this is Jonathan Overly with ET Clean Fuels, and I'm pleased today to have Stephanie Cox with Ecotality with me. We just had an ECNC stakeholders meeting, and she did a wonderful job giving a presentation on the EV project. But we wanted to take a minute and just give you some of the highlights from Tennessee. So we want to just talk about the project timeline and some of maybe the infrastructure and the vehicles that are coming to Tennessee. And Stephanie, let me just lead off there and say, tell us a little bit about the project. Sure, I'm the Stakeholder Services Area Manager for Ecotality, which is the um, company that has received the Department of Energy grant. We received $114.8 million, and through a cost share, this is a $230 million project, of which Tennessee is one of the areas, which is very exciting for the state of Tennessee. And we are in the month of August, and in the EV project deployment schedule, that is the month where we uh, bring out our implementation plan. And so that will be finalized by the end of the month. And I know that we're you're engaged in that process with us. Back in March is when we started organizing our stakeholders. And then in the month of April, we uh, finalized a deployment guidelines document, which is one of the three project documents. And then in the month of July, we uh, enacted our long range growth plan, which is really that document that's research that's going to be the resource document for our go forward plan that we go back to and it talks about uh, densities and saturation rates of chargers within our, our territory and in Tennessee as you know we have a very large footprint we have three project cities Knoxville, Chattanooga and Nashville and so our map um, shows a 25 mile from city center circle where we're going to be providing a blanketing of coverage for electric vehicle infrastructure and a pilot demonstration project that's taking place in Tennessee is the connecting of those cities through charging stations being placed along the primary corridors. And each of those is more than 100 miles apart, so it provides kind of a perfect opportunity to study this and try and figure out the way to do it right. Take that vehicle beyond, the Nissan LEAF beyond its 100 mile range and let people go further than that. Uh, the infrastructure that we're placing is not designed to replace home-based charging, but to provide that convenience charging in the public place to extend the range of the vehicle and relieve that range anxiety. We also layered major employers and, and their locations onto uh, within our mapping process, and so we chose in some other areas such as Clarksville and Dixon and Athens and Gatlinburg for some other um, infrastructure placement. The true blanketing of coverage will be over the three primary cities. But hopefully it's move around in those cities and then get between them too. Absolutely. And there, let's talk numbers. We're talking a thousand Nissan Leafs and the home infrastructure to refuel them at home. Mm -hmm. Then 1,200 commercial chargers, and this is statewide. It is. It's going to be the the uh, the mall, the library, or I mean, the library would be the public locations. Um, it depends on who owns the library, but yes, okay. it, it most likely would come from the municipal. We have 1,000 Nissan Leafs participating in the project, and each one of those will receive a level two, uh, 240 volt AC electric vehicle charging station, the equipment as well as the installation, and that can. For the vehicle participants, that can be a residential owner or a fleet. Mm -hmm. And if it's a fleet, they may put that charger at the home of the user or at the, at the company, however they see fit. Then we have 1,200 level two publicly available commercial chargers that were also that 240 volt AC charge. And then those will be publicly available on commercial partners' property. And then we have 150 level two charging stations that will be sited at, on municipal sites, such as a library or um, a public park or the city hall and then we have 60 DC fast chargers and those are the DC current direct to the car battery and those are going to be placed throughout the state of Tennessee and we also have a unique aspect which is the solar assisted charging stations of which we have 125 uh, level 2 chargers that will be associated with those and out of at least right now in the start of the project with Washington State, Oregon, California, Arizona, Tennessee. Tennessee is going to have the most infrastructure of all five states. It is. We have the largest footprint um, in the project as well and the only solar assisted charging stations in the project. So it's very much Tennessee is primed to be a, a leader within the within the EV project. And it's between now and next June or July where we want to have all that infrastructure installed. That's correct. We are going to start our installs in November uh, this year, 2010, and everything will be in the ground targeted for June of 2011. Awesome. Well, Stephanie, we appreciate your time. Thank you.